Hey everyone, TrainGuy1969 here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at this Intermountain FP9 locomotive. This particular locomotive is the sister locomotive to another one that I have. This one is in the Canada Centennial livery. So this particular livery was painted on a couple of the FP9s uh, back in 1967 when Canada was celebrating its centennial year. And this uh, train, or this particular locomotive, along with its sister locomotive, toured across the country pulling a number of different passenger and uh, types of freight cars that had different museum pieces in them and information about Canada in its first hundred years since Confederation. I do own the sister locomotive. It looks identical to this one, except that it says Canada on the side instead of 1867 to 1967. We're going to set it up with the uh, current locomotive that you're seeing here, and we'll run it around the track. Both of them are DCC, uh, DCC with sound. So we're going to get those lashed up in just a moment, and we'll show you how they uh, run together in a consist. It's a beautiful little locomotive with quite a bit of detail, as you would expect from Intermountain. Perhaps not as detailed as, say, a Rapido locomotive, but this is a beautiful locomotive just the same has the Centennial Maple Leaf on it. It is numbered 1867, whereas the other locomotive is numbered 1967. Great detail, good weight, it's a nice puller. I was really happy to get this one, but got it off of eBay. Decent price, a couple hundred dollars I believe it is. Very hard to find these. Uh, the passenger coaches that normally go with it, again, uh, very difficult to find. So I'll be pulling them today with some via rail passenger coaches. So here we go. And we're back here at the track with the two locomotives, numbers 1967 and 1867. It's 1867 taking the lead. This particular contest, again, as I said, was created by the Government of Canada back in our Confederation year of 1867. These locomotives, along with a bunch of matching passenger coaches, which served as a rolling museum, went across the country from town to town during the centennial year to celebrate Confederation and to teach both the young and old a little bit about Canada and its history. So we're going to get them started up. We'll let it idle for a moment. Here the startup sequence. Now the unique thing about this one is that it does have a specific bell that was the same on the actual locomotive as well as the horn which plays the first few bars of O Canada. So we're going to get it going. Here we go. Pulls this consist quite nicely. Again, this is an Intermountain product. And once we come back around, we'll slow it down, bring it back into the station. You can hear the sound of the brakes as the wheels start to grind on the track. And we'll slow her down right there. And we'll just set her to idle. Again, a couple beautiful looking locomotives. Detailed interiors, decent detail on the top, not 100% prototypical. I suppose if you want that, you need to find locomotives made by Rapido. Uh, they haven't done this particular one, though I think it would be a great addition to the Rapido collection if they ever uh, decided. I would certainly support that. We'll move it forward a little bit, take a look at the second locomotive.
Gander, we have number 1967. Let's move it forward a little bit more, take a look at the front end. There we go. A great little consist. We'll get her running around the track one more time. Hope you enjoyed this video. And there we have it. Canada Centennial Train Locomotives. Hope you enjoyed the video. Come back again. If you like what you see, please subscribe.